Israel versus Gaza. U.S. President set to visit Israel on Wednesday. Please share this video now. Share this video now. Share this video now. Drop a comment now. Tell us what you think about this video. Don't forget to follow Casa TV on Facebook and YouTube. The United States and Israel have agreed to develop a plan that will enable humanitarian aid from donor nations and multilateral organizations to reach civilians in Gaza and them alone, including the possibility of creating areas to help keep civilians out of harm's way. It is critical that aid begin flowing into Gaza as soon as possible. We share Israel's concern that Hamas may seize or destroy aid entering Gaza or otherwise preventing it from reaching the people who need it. If Hamas in any way blocks humanitarian assistance from reaching civilians, including by seizing the aid itself, we'll be the first to condemn it and we will work to prevent it from happening again. Let's talk now to our correspondent in West Jerusalem, Alan Fisher. And Alan, what more are we hearing about this aid plan? Look at the language. Uh, Anthony Blinken was very broad in what he said. Long talks with the Israeli war cabinet, the president and also the prime minister. And at the end, he doesn't have anything concrete. He said, we would look to find ways to deliver aid and saying that there is a need for aid in Gaza, but there's no guarantee that that aid is going to get in. And also they were talking about how they would examine ideas for safe zones. Again, nothing concrete. So Anthony Blinken has spent a long time with the Israelis. He's delivering a visit by Joe Biden, which is good politically for Benjamin Netanyahu and also if for Israel in general, but he hasn't got any deliverables that he can turn around and say, yes, there's definitely going to be aid. This is when it will be delivered. Yes, there's going to be safe zones. This is where they're going to be. Remember, he said that they were going to open the Rafa crossing. It was bombed again yesterday, and there are still thousands of people waiting to get out still hoping that they can get out. And as you said there, Joe Biden set to arrive in Israel today, Wednesday. What's he hoping to achieve? Well, many people speculated that he, of course, was on his way on Monday when he cancelled an event in Colorado. Uh, he was later pictured speaking to his national security team. Uh, the reason they were talking to the national security team was to talk about whether or not he should actually travel to Israel. Now, he's decided that we'll come here on Wednesday, but there's political risks mm. because uh, the, the, the political wisdom would suggest Joe Biden won't agree to come to Israel if the ground war is underway. So therefore, they're looking for a possible delay in that. And we know that the Israelis are building up towards it. The other thing is, well, he's showing a great deal of support uh, for Israel, and that will play politically well at home. He can't be here if there is body after body piling up in Gaza. So he's got to have what they call in diplomatic speak, deliverables. He's got to be able to say when he comes here, yes, we will get aid into Gaza. He's got to make the very broad speech, uh, speeches of, of Anthony Blinken something concrete, something different, so that there isn't a huge humanitarian crisis, because he realizes how that will play worldwide. So Israel is, of course, building up for this ground offensive. Tell us how America is supporting that militarily. Well, of course, they sent in a carrier group into the Mediterranean. They're second in sending another aircraft carrier in. And overnight, it was announced that there would be a rapid reaction force also based in the area. That's 2,000 Marines and also sailors who are coming into the area. Now, when you consider that last weekend when they announced that they were sending the carrier group, that was meant to act as a deterrent. It's clear that that isn't working. Now, uh, Iran has said that if the bombardment of civilians 
in Gaza continues, then there's the possibility of fighting at other fronts. The Americans want to contain this, and they're aware of that, and that is why they sent the carrier group in the first time. But it's almost like a small child, don't do that again, and then being told, don't do that again. So they now sent a carrier group, another aircraft carrier, and now this rapid reaction force. They're hoping it's acting as a deterrent. It doesn't seem to be having the effect that the Biden administration would like. OK, Alan, many thanks for that update. Alan Fisher reporting from West Jerusalem.